What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you the complete quest steps for the Fawn Exotic Hand Cannon when it arrives on the 12th of March next week. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Joker's world is here, and to be honest, people, I am liking it at the moment. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but at the moment, I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm also glad, although not many new exotics have been introduced, at least there are a few new armors for us to chase. I initially didn't think we were going to get any, but I'm glad a few have been added. Also, a few of the exotic weapons too. But today's video, people, is about the Fawn, a weapon which becomes available next week on the 12th of March. But thanks to light.gg which you will find linked within the video description we actually have the full quest details and all quest steps needed to unlock the fawn when it arrives next week. So if that's something you are interested in let's effing go. I will say before we start though people this quest feels like Bungie truly have forced it out for every player of the franchise PvE, PvP, solo or squads. The quest for the most part can be done in a variety of different ways and isn't really tied to a certain point of interest which is absolutely great in my opinion so let's get into it and step one is called a mounted hunk of metal despite the burn damage you recognize this weapon as the fawn a legendary weapon capable of severing guardians from the light the shadows of your followers of an infamous guardian killer are well known for carrying fawns this one is broken but you think it may be possible to fix it. A reputable and discreet gunsmith would know where to start. Bring the room fawn to Banshee 44 in the tower. So that is step one. Step two is called the essence. Banshee has recommended a number of rare components that you should be able to use to restore your ruined fawn to work in order. First on the list is the hydronic essence, a dense lattice of exotic barons and messens. Once commonly favoured in an infusion in warlock field weaves, gather hydronic essence by completing bounties for Ashamir on IO, or by defeating warlocks in the crucible, or by completing nightfall strikes. Nightfall strikes grant the most efficient progress. Step 3 is called the steel. Next on the list of required components is plasteel plating, a durable hybrid plastic favoured by titans for its balance of strength and workability. Plasteel is not commonly available for artisan use these days. The red will wipe the DIY supply chain within the city. Gather plasteel plating by completing bounties for Salon on Titan, by defeating titans in the crucible or by completing encounters at the blind well. Heroic blind well encounters grant the most efficient progress. Step 4 The Binding Last on the list of Guardian Grade components is Sapphire Wire, another hard to come by item formerly favoured by hunters because of its versatility. Sapphire Wire like Plastio Plating was another casualty of the Red War, but you feel confident that you can scrounge some up. Gather Sapphire Wire by completing bounties for Annabria Mars, by defeating hunters in the Crucible, or by completing an Escalation Protocol Wave. Escalation Protocol Waves grant the most efficient progress. Step 5 is called Weaponizing the Unknown. Your project is going well, the gun is now mechanically sound, but it is simply a gun. It has no intrinsic power of its own. You will need to reconnect it to the light somehow. And the vast dark secrets of the void team like the most promising route. Defeat guardians in the crucible using void energy or hand cannons. Precision streaks using void hand cannons grant the most efficient progress. Note that progress is multiplied in the iron banner or in competitive crucible matches. Step 6 Something yet remains. Your fawn hums with the hungry indifference of the void, but it lacks something essential. You know the original fawn was intimately connected to the hive, though you don't know exactly why. Wandering around the tower to ask your mentors about the provenance of a banned weapon strikes you as a bad idea, but there are quieter places to ask questions. Places off the beaten path where knowledgeable cryptarchs have settled down to do their work in peace and quiet. Pay a visit to Tyra Khan at the farm. The farm is accessible via the EDZ director. Like we'd forget people, but to be honest, I think most people don't even know about the Cryptarch in the uh, farm. But it's glad Bungie have remembered her, because she's still there people, she's still there. Step 7. The Chasm of Screams While you were speaking to Tyra, she mentioned something called the Hated Path, a sort of primer to transform an ordinary hand cannon into a fawn. 
Bathe your light in horrors. Feed your weapon with death. Bind it with sickness. Horrors, death, sickness, that all sounds like hive nests untightened to you. Defeat the Abitas, Sardav, and Telish, then defeat Sabathin's Song in the epic reprise of Strike Sabathin's Song on Titan. And for doing this, people, this obviously will be a special mission which pops up on Titan when you get to this stage of the quest. For completing this, you will be rewarded the Fawn Exotic Hand Cannon. But yeah, like I said, it's definitely seems like Bungie have thought about this actual quest for almost every player in the franchise. I mean there's multiple ways for doing most of these steps which is a great thing. I mean Crucible is still a part of it with step 5 but besides that I'm pretty sure everything else you could probably do solo. Maybe the last mission may be a little hard but if you are a solo player I mean this is definitely looking good for you guys. If you ain't a PvP player again Besides that step 5, which I mean it's just basically getting void kills in PvP. Again, the quest is looking good. But yes people, that is the complete steps for the quest of the Fawn Exotic Hang Cannon. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.